Hello developers. Today we are going to build an NLP paraphrase generator. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your project. The most important skill for blogging is paraphrasing. Bloggers aren't expected to be creative all the time while writing, and in such cases, the paraphrase generator comes to the rescue. The paraphrase generator is used to build natural language processing training data in minutes. Paraphrase generators will reword phrases similar to how the human brain would. It understands the meaning and nature of content from start to end and selects the best fit words from its database. We'll be using a candy kit to build this AI solution. So what is a candy kit? Candy one-click install kits gives you a ready-to-deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready-to-use candy kits on AI, augmented reality, gaming, blockchain, and many more on Candy. Today, we'll be using a popular candy kit on NLP Paraphrase Generator one-click install kit. This kit is open source with a permissive license, which means you can freely edit, customize, and share your solution. So let's get started. Over to you, Ganesh, for the hands-on walkthrough. Hello. Hope you are excited to build your own AI solution. To build an AI-powered paraphrase generator, we need to follow the following steps. First, we need to install the dependent libraries, which include PyTorch and Sentence Transformers and Transformers. Second, we need to load pre-trained models on which the paraphrase generator has already been trained on. Third, we'll make use of open source libraries to build our own paraphrase generator. Everything you need to build this solution is available in the candy kits. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and you can also follow the instructions mentioned here to set it up. You can pause this video for now to complete the installation. Once ready, hit resume and we will jump right into building our own paraphrase generator. Great. Hope you're all set. If you have successfully installed, you'll be able to see this Jupyter Notebook. Now, let's have a closer look at this Jupyter Notebook. In this notebook, we'll be building our own paraphrase generator, making use of an open source paraphrase library called Parrot Paraphraser. In the first cell, we'll download the modules from the Parrot Paraphraser, then the PyTorch library modules necessary for building our own paraphrase generator. In the second cell, we'll be downloading the paraphraser model that the Parrot Paraphraser has been trained on, which is a T5 Transformers model. We initialize the Parrot class here, which internally downloads the tokenizers and the sequence to sequence models, which are necessary for building our Parrot Paraphraser from the Transformers Hugging Face library. In the third cell, we create a custom function which accepts an input phrase which will give and make use of the parrot library to augment or create other phrases which are more relevant to the input phrase that we give. Here, we demonstrate this with two custom phrases that we feed into the model. So we initialize the phrases to be what are the famous places we should not miss in Russia? And the other one being, can you recommend some upscale restaurants in New York? Now, when we run this, the custom function we created is being called and the augment function of the paraphraser creates the paraphrases or most relevant phrases for our questions. As you can see here, the input phrase, phrase for us is what are the famous places we should not miss in Russia. The paraphraser has listed these many different phrases or different ways of asking the same question, which includes, can you list the places worth visiting and why? 
list the places of great interest to visit in Russia, which is the most famous place in Russia and why, and so on. Similarly, for our second phrase, can you recommend some upscale restaurants in New York? It has given the following phrases. Can you list the best restaurants in New York? Recommend some upscale restaurants in New York. Can you recommend an upscale restaurant in New York? And so on. This way, for any input phrases, we'll be able to generate most relevant or most reformed ways of asking the same phrase in a different way. Thus, we'll be create different paraphrases making use of this paraphrase library. You now have a working AI-powered paraphrase generator. Let's see if there are any way to customize the solution. In this cell, we create a custom paraphrase sentences function wherein we create customized paraphrases. We create a function with a parameter called phrase diversity. This phrase diversity is a parameter which can be set as true or false, which will have an impact on the phrases that are being generated. Secondly, we can customize the solution by tuning different hyperparameters in the augment function. We can change to how many ever phrases we want by changing the parameter and how much the length of the output phrase should be using this max length parameter. And we can also change the thresholds of adequacy and fluency of the output phrases that needs to be obtained. Based on all these parameters, the paraphrase generator will generate the paraphrases. Let's see this customization in action. In this cell, we give an input phrase, how are the new MacBook Pros with the M1 chips? We then call the custom paraphrase sentence, which is the customization function we just created with all the custom parameters for this input phrase. Since the phrase diversity is by default false here, the paraphraser generates these many different paraphrases for the input phrase. As we can see here, the paraphrases generated are almost similar to the existing input phrase. We can check it by setting the phrase diversity parameter to be true and calling the same function for the same input phrase. Here, we can see that the output paraphrases that has been generated are more diverse in compared to the previous cell. Thus, this phrase diversity plays a huge role in creating paraphrases that are almost similar or more diverse with respect to the input phrase. Next, we'll see this custom paraphraser in action through an interactive shell simulation. This basically accepts whatever input we give along with the phrase cell diversity parameter and gives us the corresponding paraphrases. I'll go ahead and run this. It asks me to enter a phrase. I give it to be, how do I become an astronaut and enter. Then it asks me a question, do you want phrasal diversity? For the first scenario, since by default it is false, I'll give it as no. And then the model accepts this input phrase and generates the paraphrases. You can see here that it has generated these many paraphrases with phrasal adversity to be false. Now, we'll again type the same question. How do I become an astronaut? But now we'll set the phrasal diversity to be true. I'll give yes. The model considers these parameters and gives these many suggestions. As we can see here in the first scenario, since the diversity is said to be false, the paraphrases generated were closely aligned to the 
input frames. In the second scenario, since the diversity is said to be true, the paraphrases generated are more diverse in nature compared to the first one. I'll go ahead and close this by giving exit. That's it. Congratulations. You now have an AI powered paraphraser that you can customize for your own application. Hope you found that session useful. Using a candy kit is a great way to build AI prediction models. You can find the link to the NLP paraphrase generator kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on AI, blockchain, augmented reality, and many more. Try out our Candy kits now. Hit subscribe and join us at the Open Weaver community of developers to learn to build many more such incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session, and until the next one, bye bye.